G'day, I'm Ash, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we'll be taking a look at the MiG-21, which, again, is top rank of the Swedish tech tree right here at 11.0, and, yeah, despite it not getting R60Ms, it still is a, a very, very effective fighter, and I've been having a little bit of fun playing this one. Costing 390,000 research at a purchase price of 1.6, uh, 1.06 million, the Swedish, or should I say, Finnish MiG-21 is an interesting case, and yeah, it's probably one of the best vehicles that Sweden has to offer. I mean, the Vigans are fantastic, but I just love launching missiles and yeeting things out of the sky. Uh, despite that, it is quite cumbersome in some areas, and it is rather interesting. Now, gets countermeasures, got the same uh, bulletproof glass, 60mm at the front, 10mm at the back, X-ray standard MiG-21. Let's take a look at modifications real quick. We do get engine fire system, which is completely utterly useless. By the time the warning comes up, you're already burning to a crisp. Go through R3S, R3R, R13s, and then R60s. You can mount uh, S5 rockets and the S5 additional unguided rockets. You get flares and chaffs, and you can choose to have either or. Why would you not run with chaffs or flares, considering that it is 11.0? And then you get access to this kind of loader. You can create your own, but you can only have a maximum of six R60s under the hard points. And there is your various other missiles as well. Aside from that, using R60s is probably your best bet, although they have been nerfed a little bit and they have been a bit broken to chaff and other various things. But playing this again and getting back into playing MiG 21s, I've had a great deal of fun with that. So let's go check out some gameplay and we'll have a bunch of fun exploring the pros and cons of this vehicle. Right, one of the things I find interesting about this is when R60 goes whoosh, because back in the day, at least at the start of 2020, or start of 2021, the MiG-21 Biz was one of the most prolific fighters that War Thunder had, and they buffed the R60 to the point where, well, they basically hit anything at a 90 degree angle. The SC-25 does still retain that kind of thing with the R60Ms, but at least the R60s have been relatively tamed at least a little bit. Thing is, you're going against AIM-9s and various other, you know, missiles. Magics, particularly from the Mirage 2000 up here. But what's interesting is it doesn't get combat flaps, gets takeoff landing, air brakes, and no arrest of gear, and doesn't get a drag shoot. And despite that, it gets relatively okay flares, although the big engine is a big target, especially if you aren't paying attention. And I highly recommend that you upgrade your crew if you're using MiG-21, as flinging them about isn't exactly the greatest idea of things. I tried to get a front aspect lock on that guy, hoping that I could actually try and get that F5, but alas, we didn't actually manage to get him. So still... You get 2,142 kilometers an hour to top speed. That's stock if you can actually get there, though you're most likely to see about 1,400 k's. And then you obviously have a rate of climb of about 225 meters a second with a takeoff run of 750 meters. So a long, long runway just to get one of these birds up. Yeah. Actually, I believe there's a MiG-21 that is sat on top of a, a construction... Uh, business or plumbing or is it electrical or is it a fish and chip shop I can't remember exactly somewhere in New Zealand where they landed this particular airframe at the longest runway New Zealand has and then some guy just took it off in a truck and put it on top of a building as a, as a form of advertisement anyway and that's beside the point Sun City is a map I haven't seen for a little while and this was good fun seeing all the enemies come out sit on the deck basically fly through the buildings I'm trying to get a beat on this SU-122, or sorry, SU-22M3. Uh, again, this is my first match of the night, and it was like, okay, avoid the buildings, and then basically G-lock your aircraft, because you know, you're pulling very tight Gs in close quarters. Granted, it is a little bit difficult, because you are, well, not focusing on absolutely everything you possibly could be. Now, I should have distinctively been deploying flares, and I didn't have them in auto run or anything else like that. And this is where you get absolutely doinked, because situational awareness in top tier is possibly the most important thing you, you can do. Here I go, get greedy again by not changing my course. And of course, after I set uh, that missile on, uh, on, on its target, you see how I got caught on fire, how long it took for that fire extinguisher to actually pull up. Crazy. And that shot was just fun. 
Anyway, we're going to fly under a bridge at least once in a video, because I don't really do that too often. Every time I've done that, I've ended up upside down in the river. But anyway, this particular machine is exactly identical to the Russian one, and essentially, you basically get a, well, an okay, impressive rate of climb and the second best, you know, climber behind an F-104. It's certainly better than a Phantom, in my opinion. I don't really like having to launch AIM-7s everywhere and, and having to do all the radar stuff. I much prefer just to let the missile do what it does. I, then again, I am quite lazy. So, you know, an increased performance comparatively to other MiG-21s, but this is the only MiG-21 you'll be getting in the finished tech tree as of yet. Apparently, there is going to be more stuff coming. Uh, we don't know whether that in includes probably an earlier version or an F-13 or, or whatever it is. It doesn't necessarily matter. Try to get some gunshots on this SU-22. But again, I find it particularly tricky to use the guns. I haven't really fought or used an aircraft like this for some time. Now, the MiG-21 Biz in the Russian tech tree is one of my highest, uh, at least, aircraft kills uh, to death ratio uh, ever because of the R-60 buffs that happened uh, in, in that early period of that year. That guy didn't stand a chance. But... In the same category, that F-14 basically, you know, took everything he owned. Anyway, last clip I thought this was particularly funny before I do some live commentary on an actual match that happened. This F-14 was coming in hard for me. And I really wanted to sort of clutch him and see if I could actually get a bunch of things. Now I am losing a bunch of speed here. I'm trying to make him overshoot. So I'm just sort of losing a bunch of energy. He's pulled away. But he's made a crucial error. The R60s are quite fast. And unless you're quick enough, flaring doesn't do anything. But yeah. Anyway, so, next match. We've taken off, we've headed left. The team has basically engaged fighters. I've launched one Fox 2, uh, to no regard, and we're going to launch another one at this F4E. He ha is not flaring this time. And the missile actually does end up by tracking. Now we're going to pull down and just keep our speed. Just double check our 6. Just do a couple of t light turns, a bit of notching here and there. It's not really notching, but you get what I mean. Uh, and then there is an F4E up above me. That, that looks rather juicy. Because the teammates are all in a crucial position, we're just going to launch that one, forget it, and we're just going to come back later because there's another F4E down here. Oh, and we actually managed to get that aircraft. I was not expecting that one at all. We're losing control here left, right, and center. The F4E is going after the railway carriages and having a bunch of fun. Just trying to keep this F5C off my uh, rear end because he turns a lot better than you think. And for some reason, he hasn't continued turning when he knows there's a MiG-21 in the area. That is three air kills in under 30 seconds. Stuff like this is what dreams are made of. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on, on what you, the enemy's team's awareness is. Now, I thought that was going to hit the friendly MiG-21. But there you go, F4E is now out of the equation. That is four kills. And now we have to wait and see what happens. There is an, another F4E and an F14 inbound, chasing FGR1 and the Mirage, but basically the rest of the team is chasing these two aircraft left. Hopefully we'll get the F4E. F14 will probably be taken care of by someone else. So we're sort of redlining here. We're gonna pull off the wartime emergency power or the afterburner and just continue flying towards now. I would have probably chased after that guy had it not been for the fact that, well, there isn't really much else to say. Now, there's one other guy other than this F-14. And I've completely G-locked. Made a crucial mistake here. Because this aircraft is very good. It's very forgiving. But if you don't baby it a little bit by just, you know, tapping WRS to try and, you know, unlock your aircraft, or at least un-G-lock your pilot, then sometimes it can be a bit of a problem. I've locked onto the friendly Mirage, didn't mean to end up by doing that one. Let's see. The F-14 is now down, and now everybody else is going after some granules. So, we only have really one option to activate an adventure. I don't typically do this all the time, but I was getting quite fed up with waiting around, so we're going to go chase this F-4E. It would be nice to get an ace. I haven't got an ace, at least in this kind of jet, for a little while, so maybe we'll do that, maybe we won't. And let's go over the cons. Because all MiG-21s tend to relatively lose speed quite quickly in turns, they bleed quite a lot of energy. Because of the way that the shorter wings work and the long body, this is basically all engine. So doing any form of turn fighting, while it is good for a Delta wing, it certainly is something to be desired. Now, launch a Fox 2 on this F-4E. 
Am I going to get it? I get a critical hit. That should be mine. This aircraft should be mine. I don't have any more air to air missiles. Going to go in for the guns. Let's see what happens. So if we can get the ace here. Kill assist. The FGR-2 behind me launches a missile right as we... Well, he crashes into the ground and uh, manages to get a lucky hit. And that's basically GG right there. Now, I need to be playing some more MiG-21s on things. I need to be playing some more jets as we're coming up into rank 8, which is an interesting uh, development for War Thunder's history. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with the new premiums, the new $70 ones, and whether or not the matchmaker will respond well enough to that. We have yet to see an interesting dev blog yet, other than the A6E. So, again, keep in mind that that is a thing. And while I'm trying to play more and more jets, I'm getting quite frustrated with certain air types. I don't like flying Mirages anymore. <laughs> and going back to my old favourites from six, seven months ago, doesn't seem to be the way you play the game anymore. So yeah, I'm a bit screwed in that regard. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you have a good one and we'll see you tomorrow.